name is Scotty Robertson. I work for the Kentucky Division of Water. I'm the Water Well Driller Certification Program Coordinator, <laughs> long name. <laughs> there is a statute mandates that the state of Kentucky certify water well drillers. And as part of that statute, it mandated that the state of Kentucky develop regulations for the construction of water wells and the alteration or, or repair or abandonment of those wells. If a water well has been determined not to be suitable for its intended use, then it should be abandoned within 30 days. By abandonment, they mean to pull the pump and casing out of the ground and to fill the uh, borehole so that it prevents migration of contaminants and water, surface water and contaminants from entering the groundwater, entering the subsurface of the ground. We chlorine, you know, sanitize the well, but then we actually put a, a, about three or four feet of, uh, of bentonite plugs right on top of it, uh, uh, where we think that that's uh, where we, or the, you know, the camera, where the casing uh, meets the screen. We put a bentonite plug on it, and from, from that plug on it, we want to fill it up with sand till the static water level, that's where the water came up uh, naturally, and then from there on, we put sand on it to the static, and from the static, we fill uh, to the top only two feet below the uh, ground level, we fill with, uh, with uh, bentonite slurry, which that's a sand in the bentonite, and that's most economical for, for this project. Well, if you don't plug a well, uh, depending on where it's at, uh, assuming uh, most wells are in rural areas or uh, agricultural areas, then you have uh, surface sediment, uh, manure, uh, pesticides uh, that are, will run off, uh, get mixed in with surface water, precipitation, rainwater as it mixes and then can potentially run into the open borehole or well and get into the groundwater system. If it was to pose an environmental threat, then they could be fined significantly. They may be required to, to remediate that, that contamination. From here forward, no, uh, nothing can, can penetrate that uh, formation, especially as much bentonite is in there. The next, uh, the next step that we do here, we fill up a form and we'll say, you know, how we did this, everything that we did here, we'll fill a form to it and a plug, in, uh, a plug form and we'll send it out to Frankfurt. They'll review it and if there's any questions, they'll, uh, they will ask us anything like that. We have a list on our website, water.ky.gov, under, ground, under groundwater program, uh, the water well certification page, uh, there is a directory of water well drillers that are certified to practice in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah you should periodically, uh, you know, take a look at your well, the condition of it on, you know, at the ground surface, uh, you know, make notes if, if to the color, the odor, if you have one, you know, any changes that you've seen in the water uh, quantity, such as, you know, does it, make as much water as it used to or not. And uh, those are all uh, signs that there's something going wrong with the well. Uh, it could be a bacteria buildup in the well, or it could be sedimentation problem, or it could be a malfunctioning pump, uh, different things. It just, uh, but they should have somebody that's a professional look at it uh, periodically uh, to determine that it's functioning properly and, and safe.